What's up YouTube? This is Print Practical. Do you have an issue with your stepper motor skipping or running too hot, maybe even making some weird noise? It's possible that you need to do some V-Ref tuning on your stepper drivers. In this video, we're going to be specifically looking at tuning the V-Ref on the TMC2208 and 2209 that are running in standalone mode. If you're running your stepper driver in UART mode, you can actually control the V-Ref through software. So if you want a video on that, feel free to ask me in the comments and I can make one on that. But on this printer specifically, all the drivers are running in standalone mode. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. All right, the following tools are required in order to perform the V-Ref tuning. You need a multimeter, a Phillips head screwdriver to turn the potentiometer on the stepper driver, alligator clips, and then specifically for this printer, I need this Allen wrench in order to access the motherboard, but however you can get to your motherboard on your printer will do. So there are two values that we need to acquire from the motherboard. One, we need to know what stepper drivers do we have. You may already know this information if you're building a printer from scratch or if you're using a pre-built Creality printer, then they label what stepper drivers you have by writing a letter on the SD card slot uh, on the motherboard. So you can look there. So you got to figure out what stepper drivers do you have. The second piece of information that we need is the R-Sense value, which is just a resistor value of these two resistors that are near the stepper driver. I'll show a picture of mine on screen and point out exactly what resistor I'm talking about. But in my case, it is a R150. So our R-Sense value is 150. And the last value we need to figure out is the current rating for our stepper motors. On my printer, it uses a Creality 4240 for the Y-axis and the extruder motor, and it uses a 4234 for the X-axis and the Z-axis. So here I found an Amazon link that is the official Creality store, and it gives you the current rating for the 4240 as one amp. And then in this same ad, I can find the 4234, and the rated current is 0.8 amps. So now we have all the values we need to calculate our VREF. Let's go do that. I wrote some quick JavaScript code to calculate the VREF, and then I used ChatGPT to make this nice little UI for it. And I'll put a link to this down below, but you can use this to calculate your VREF values for each stepper driver. So for my Y and my extruder stepper driver, uh, we know that it is a 2208. We know that the motor supports one amp and our R sense value is 150. And this gives us a VREF of 1.11 volts. And then we know that the R sense is the same. And we are going to check the current for the 4234, which should give us our value for my X and Z stepper drivers and that is a 0 0.89 volts. All right, so in terms of setup, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our positive probe of the voltmeter and we are going to clamp our alligator clip on that. And then we are gonna clip the other end onto our screwdriver. Turn our voltmeter to two volts. And then we also have to make sure that our printer has power. So in order to read and adjust the V-Ref, we're going to take our negative probe and touch it to the SD card casing for ground. And then first we're going to check the extruder, which is the stepper motor closest to me. So I'm going to put my screwdriver in the Phillips head slot of the potentiometer on the stepper driver. And as you can see, it is at 1.36 volts. It's supposed to be at 1.11. So I'm going to adjust this and that is close enough. Now I'm gonna move over to the Z axis, which is supposed to be 0.89 volts. And it is pretty darn close. All right, next we're checking the Y. 
That's at 1.4, which is a little high as well. We're gonna turn that down to 1.1. Good enough. And lastly, the X. The X is at 1.1. Uh, that's supposed to be a 0.89. I dial up that down. The screwdriver's not quite the right size, so good enough. All right, that was simple. We're done here. All right, well, that's it for this one. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.